Hey everybody! Jacinda and I are at Alt Summit in Salt Lake City and she was just telling me about a science experiment she did with her daughter for first grade science class and it involved raisins and soda and dancing and champagne. So I was like, that's it. We're dropping everything. We're going to go right now and we are going to find all those materials and we're going to see if we can make some raisins dance. Mm -hmm. Well, as you know, there is only one thing that we have a stronger passion for than science. Champagne! Now we are going on a raisin hunt. Hi, um, I heard through the grapevine that you carry raisins. Raisins? So I don't see them dancing just yet. I think there's a wrinkle in our plan. <laughs> so while we wait for these raisins to dance, this is a reasoning experiment should work. The raisins are denser than the soda and they have a rough surface for the carbon dioxide bubbles to stick to. So what is supposed to happen is that the carbon dioxide bubbles adhere to the reason and lift it up to the surface, and then the bubbles pop, and the reasons fall back down. And then the process repeats until the soda goes flat. We did read that fresh reasons work better, but we could not really figure out what a fresh reason is. We thought maybe it's a grape, but there was no, <laughs> there was no grapes in our mini bar. Um, I feel like we should be wearing goggles right now. <laughs> <laughs> and like it's gonna explode here. Right. I have these. <laughs> what was your scientific hypothesis about what would happen when we put the raisins in the carbonated liquid? I thought that when we put the raisins in the carbonated liquid, we would start drinking champagne and dancing. <laughs> and I think I was right. <laughs> I think your hypothesis is accurate. <laughs> Wait, are they dancing? I think. Oh my god, they are. Wait, They're totally what? dancing. <laughs> Am I moving the cup? I don't think so. I think they're dancing. Is this like a Ouija board? A Ouija board here right now? <laughs> right. What was your hypothesis? Well, because I read on the internet that the raisins would start dancing in the carbonated liquid, my hypothesis was that the raisins would start dancing in the liquid. <laughs> you know, I grew up in California. I always thought raisins could dance. <laughs> I heard it through the grapevine. No, no. You know what? On the internet, did they use regular raisins, like the brown ones? They were brown raisins. Well, the hotel only had white raisins, <laughs> and I think the white raisins catch up. <laughs> Enough with your raisinist jokes. <laughs> Our light raisins <laughs> um, didn't dance, but we have a theory that light raisins are maybe a little more plump and juicy than brown raisins, <laughs> and that's why brown raisins dance and light raisins don't dance. You know what, we've never explained why we're drinking champagne. So Claire and I were researching science experiments online and she really wanted to do this dancing raisin experiment and I, <laughs> you just got that in my butt crack, thank you. Wait, see if you can get it in my mouth. <laughs> oh wait, no, I hate raisins. <laughs> we were told by the internet that a raisin can also recarbonate flat champagne, which is our whole reason for caring about this project. Mm -hmm. um, but the problem is, is that you need flat champagne to start that, and we, yeah, we don't have any. Um, you guys, why is Jamie so mean? She's so mean. Look at her. She's just like a raisin. I'm oh my god, your dress is totally a raisin dress. <laughs> our hypothesis is incorrect, but we had a good time doing it. Yeah. Bigger babes, woo! <laughs>